Maybe I'm losing my hearing. Maybe. Too much rock and roll, too much... Uh... Guys, are you losing your hearing from our voices right now? It's okay, right? What? It's pretty all right. What? All You're right. fine. We're fine. You're fine. Thank I like you. the haircut. That's very... Uh, I was hoping you'd bring that up. Like, futuristic. I feel like... Yeah. Uh, awesome. Thanks. Max Headroom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Max would you, Headroom. Would you believe like I paid... Um, <laughs> did you only, pay to do that? Only fifth. <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Okay. How much did you pay to get that done did to your head? I believe I paid $100. Uh, I don't want to believe that, but I will. You, okay. Because I, I trust didn't. you. Would you believe I friend. paid $50? Oh, you to hey, did you get it on I believe that too. I believe anything you tell me. Do you think I got ripped off? If it was for 50 bucks, then. A little bit? I don't know. Would you believe I did this myself last night and I've never cut my hair before? Yes, I believe you that. You all believe that. Yeah. Of course you all believe that. Did you do that? Yeah. You didn't do a bad job. Thanks. They if do a great job. Yeah. It's, not 50, it's not a $50 not job, 50, that's for yeah. sure. Definitely would have been a ripoff if it's like this was $50. It's like a 50 cent job. Put it on eBay. I bought this. I bought my ability to cut my own hair on eBay. <laughs> eBay. You can buy anything there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, give it up again for King of Broken Hearts. Wasn't breaking that really nice, guys? Heart, breaking my heart. That was what a great one. My heart, how's your heart feel? Is it good? Is my it heart? Pumping? Yeah. Is it good? Pumping? Blood? Let me do a quick check on it. <laughs> um, Are you eating your Cheerios? Good for your heart. You know, I meditated right before I started. I was, um, <laughs> so I'm, I am feeling good. Yeah, I am feeling, feeling good. Like yeah, my, my heart's not that bad. Huh? You do kind of like have a golden shine to you, like you've achieved. Thank you. I hope you noticed that also. <laughs> Would you believe I paid $100 for it? Uh, no, I know this game. No. <laughs> you didn't pay No, anything. I did that golden shine all myself. That's a good one. Yeah. It's good shine, good gold did, shine. Didn't have to buy it on eBay. No, what's funny, <laughs> I was, I was, walking like behind the stage and I was walking by our friend Dylan yeah and I was like oh dude I'm gonna go yeah that Dylan that Dylan d d didgery Dylan as we call him didgeri I'm like dude oh, I'm gonna go meditate do you want to come and he's like oh dude I was about to go meditate uh -huh. I was like cool and we're walking and I'm like I like to listen to guided meditations so are you down with that yeah and he's like oh I thought you meant smoke weed <laughs> and I'm like oh I don't I don't have any weed <laughs> <laughs> bummer man yeah so that's what I thought you meant too. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Straight up for real. For real meditation. Just sitting. Do you guys Doing want to nothing. turn it down just a tiny bit for us talking here? Uh, I like right how on, the band appears like ghosts. They, they just, just like out of nowhere, in. out of the mists. They were outside in the cold smoking a ciggy, ciggy, ciggy. I saw them. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on behind us? <laughs> I think someone's been meditating a lot. Yeah, I smell that. I smell that meditation as well. It's some uh, straight to India shit right there. Straight to Buddha. Hey, do you know who's number three on the list? Because I, I do. Oh, it's that guy. Ooh. His name's Bob Bergeron. Oh, this guy. Yeah. He's, that's why he's on stage. That's it's why so he's convenient on stage. when. You do the blues. All right, Yo, give man. it up for Everyone give our it up buddy for, uh, this Bob gentleman Bergeron. Right here. Bob Berberon. Oh no! I got Seth. Uh, yeah. If you weren't, if you weren't pursuing a career in like, in filmmaking, yeah. What do you What do you What think would you I would pursue? Do? Yeah. And, um, and take creative, shit, man, creative things know. like off the table. I really, I, I don't think this is a job per se, but I really want to know what it's like to like jump in a swimming pool like filled like ten feet high with Jello, red Jello. Yeah, that doesn't answer my question in the okay. slightest. Well, that's what I would actually okay. like to be doing if I wasn't pursuing a career. I, I guess I didn't say a real job. Okay, so I think someone would pay me to do that. So, if, if a weird, if I videotaped it, oh, that's filmmaking. If, uh, Shit. Filmmaking. <laughs> oh, if I film it, ah, oh. uh, no, there could be like a weird billionaire that just wants to see a dude just like jump in his Jello pool. I'd also like to be able to control all the seagulls in town. These aren't jobs. Just those, but like, I like follow me around, and then I can like send them at people, <laughs> over people, and just cover like, everything in just shit, like just seagull shit, as far as the eye can see. That's yeah. what also I would like to be doing. Seagull man. Of, yeah. The man who controls. The seagull man. Seagulls. Kind of like the pigeon man from Hey Arnold, just a little bit more vindictive and like, because seagulls are dicks. Yeah. We could probably, I could train them to probably eat people too. Easy. Yeah. 
They are ruthless. If I wasn't pursuing a career in filmmaking, I'd be pursuing a career in making seagulls, training seagulls to eat people on command. Okay. Well, I can't say I didn't see that coming. Um, I, I would probably, I would probably like be a fireman. I don't really care. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so. Shut um, up. All right, oh next person God. up. Uh, who's the next person up? I know who's next. You're uh, telling me to shut up. Unshut up. And I do have it on authority dude, I, that uh, Barbara dude. Bush does watch this show every uh, every Saturday night. I get letters from her saying, hey, Seth, good job. It's Barbara Bush. Good job. Oh, Former really? First lady. You yeah, know, I'm all not the time, surprised. Dude. All the time. She sends me uh, birthday money, too. Five bucks every... Uh, Barbara Bush? Yeah. Every six months. It's kind of weird, but whatever. How did I'll you meet it. Barbara Bush? Uh, I'm beginning I, to think I know this people. isn't true. Don't question it. Um, this is a, like this that. is a, have you met my friend? I like that. Keep it going. Uh-huh. <laughs> have you met my friend Barbara Bush? This is Barbara, Barbara Bush. That's Barbara Bush. This is Barbara Bush. The former first lady Barbara Bush, everybody. Give it up. She looks different. Uh, yeah, the camera adds 10 pounds. And makes you it four, like in, a, four a inches little, and like round. Yeah, and like everyone a, knows that. And like That's a me. sick son. Yeah. Like a fat, sick son. Yeah. The with camera feet? makes everyone look like a fat, sick son. With feet, with fat with feet. With feet, with fat baby feet and fat baby hands. It does it to everybody. If you have any weird props we want you want us to make fun of, just bring us, bring them up. We'll make fun of your shit. We'll, we'll Seinfeld it. What's the deal with little round <laughs> sun people? Hey Seth, what the fuck is this? Yeah, that's a baby dressed like, like a butterfly. It's a baby dressed like a butterfly. She's What's sleep- the deal with babies <laughs> dressed like butterflies? That's not how you hold a baby. You don't Class- hold a baby by its neck. That's you a classic. You don't, you don't do that. That's a classic bit. Say, what's the deal with, and then a, a weird noun. That's not how you hold a baby. You're killing that you baby. You don't hold them face. No, not like that at all. Seth, not like the, the baby has to face the camera, but I'm having a conversation with it. So it has to face me, but look towards the audience. Seth, that's a nice scarf. Uh, you like scarf. this uh, scarf I got? I didn't, I didn't notice you it's were wearing warm. it. It's very warm. Very warm. You can feel like uh, the pride of 200 years of democracy surge through it. How so the fuck warm. do you hold a baby? This baby's creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> right. Why are why are its eyes permanently closed? And it's, because it's by the way, that's not me holding it that way. Its head is just like that. You. C- oh man, dude. Uh, never have kids. Never have kids. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a terrible. You're doing a terrible job. <laughs> hey Seth. Hey, look at this guy. Campfire Cowboy's up next. Yeah, he's up next. Come on, come on up here, Campfire. A good bro. He's everybody's Campfire brother. Cowboy. He's brother to the frogs and the trees and the birds in the sky and the bees and the trees. Beehive in the trees. Did also. you mention the trees? And uh, uh, the squirrels in the trees. The um, uh, monkeys. Uh, monkeys in the trees. I'm sure uh, monkeys uh, are his uh, friends. Uh, monkeys uh, are his friends. Uh, Shit. Right. You have a question. <laughs> You're gonna get a pet monkey? Well, whoo, shit. I've been lost in the woods for over a month. I was coming up over a hill, me and my horse, goodbye, Toros, Chickpea Hill. We get to the top of Chickpea Hill. I, I say, goodbye, Toros, it's my horse. Is that Portland, Maine in the distance? He looks. He says, yeah. We can tell it's Portland, Maine, because from Chicopee Mountain, Portland, Maine looks like a red city of bricks. We both smiled and we hustled here, right here, to Turnstile Thursday, and I'm no longer lost anymore. You can see here, this is a key to the next Black Toad story. With the key, there's a keyhole, put the key in the keyhole. And you open up the next Black Toad story is Black Toad Saves the Fountain of Youth. Have you ever heard this one before? They got it right, Ponce de Leon, that when you go down to St. Augustine, there's a fountain of youth that looks just like that, kind of made out of stone. The water's kind of flowing down into a hole. And there's a sign there. This is the fabled fountain of youth. Well, Ponce de Leon, he was, he was at the right location, but he was in the wrong era. It was there 
but it's not there anymore, and it shouldn't be there either, because it's not good to have the fountain of youth just spraying out. I'll tell you why. Woo, it's just outside, Ooh, dude. I know. You know one thing I do like about the extreme cold? It makes you feel alive, man. You feel body parts you forgot existed. Like the back of your legs? How many times do you think about that shit? You know <laughs> what? I, th I think about the backs of your legs. Oh, yeah. That's who's thinking about the backs of your legs. Because <laughs> I you. care about you it's always that been much. Here. I'm well, like, anyway. I hope the backs of Seth's legs aren't cold I, I right now. They are. It's a cold, every time it's a cold day, I'm like, oh, shit. Well, I'm, but, I'm, but to be fair, I'm thinking about all the fronts and backs of your body parts. I appreciate it. I've known you a long time. Man. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I appreciate it. Yeah. I send good vibes. Oh, I feel them. Over to you. I know where your address is, so I just like... My dress? You know, I just, your, oh, no, uh, address. address. So I just channel in my good vibes. Well, how do you know where spot. my dresses are? You have dresses? No. No? No? No. Are you sure? You know who does has a, have a dress? Um, I'm hoping this next guest is a girl, or that's going to be awkward. It yes, is. touching. Jamie Rue. Do you have uh, a dress, Jamie Rue? Yeah, perfect. That's not, not a, a, that's a, not a girl, dude. Not a girl, that's, not a, that's not a girl. <laughs> It's not a girl. Uh, Do you, you can you wear a dress? Dylan is not here today. Uh -huh. It's very sad. Very sad indeed. Seems his dog uh, has passed on. Yeah. His little dog Indy, Indiana Jones. So I would like to give about 20 seconds or like a moment of silence for Indy, Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones, the dog who passed on. Everybody respect. All right, that's enough respect. I was not 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm saying all right. You didn't Silences commit to make it. me uh, uncomfortable. I was I ready to commit to the 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, I was ready we'll to miss have you, buddy. I don't even, I don't even know airtime. you, but I'll miss that dog. I'll miss that dog forever. I never met that dog. You met that dog? No, but I feel like I did. No, you don't. And I got a few, a uh, couple more announcements. Um, that everyone remember Hillary Silver and yeah. the Wicked Woods, yeah. that band. They didn't yeah. die. They didn't, they didn't die. No, okay. thank gosh. No, Jesus. they have a show on Sunday night at... Um uh, I didn't catch drummers. your name. Drummer. James. James Columbus. Brand new buddy James Scrumpus. Corumpolis? <laughs> Scrumpus. Scrumpus. James Columbus Scrumpolis. And that Over would be Kevin, Kevin Doobie. So uh, I know I just said Trisha, you're next, but it's actually Patrick. Patrick B. O. U. I forgot the last name. Wasn't it Patricia Bolduc? Uh, Patricia? Was it Patricia or Patrick? Patrick. Does it does it matter? Is there a Patrick? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! Make me <laughs> make me flounder up here for like ten minutes. did No Shave November back in November, um, and I lost extremely bad. Um, but it's bullshit, because all my friends are in Al-Qaeda. They have huge beards. I was walking by the Time and Temperature building to get here. That's an interesting building. A lot of buildings there. Do they really, there are a lot of offices in that? Does it take that many people to figure out what the time and what the temperature is? Could you just have one person staring at a clock the whole time, just flicking it every time it changes? A person staring at a thermometer, letting you know what the temperature is. You walk in, you're like, hey, I got a question about time. And they're like, no, dude, no. It's just temperature, bro. What the fuck are you doing? You got to talk to Susan in time. Why would there be all these thermometers on the wall? But anyways, I'm going to end right here. And I'm going to say I'm from Freeport. And you know who really pulled themselves up by their bootstraps? Leon Linwood Bean. Because it's not just a corporation and a person, he's also a ghost. Give it up one more time for the mic, huh? Yeah, because it takes, it takes balls. Tales At of least wisdom. one. And if it's more than one, then that's plural. One ball? You should. <laughs> Five I, balls, I take back my statement. It takes ball.
until it's like freezing. Like right the the area in between. Your shoes you know are tight. Be I careful know. about that. Uh, yeah, we'll be. Thanks, Don't mom. worry about you. Thanks, mom. Great then, job, Satan Facial and Reese Cat. Satan Facial and Reese. That it's also uh, way. Like top it's top top five band names on the show top, so far. Top five. Is that in the best yeah. category? Yeah, category the best. of top, best. That's why it's oh, the top. Okay. Well, it could be top worst. True. 